Ooh, an old, old ass tech there. Hey everybody, welcome to lovely Gross Eel, Michigan. If you missed the last one, Gross Eel is a pretty cool little island that's in the middle of the Detroit River. Well, the very, very south end of the Detroit River, right before it becomes Lake Erie. So when we do the takeoff here, uh, you'll see the river, and well, you'll see a nuclear plant too, but you'll see the river, you'll see uh, then the uh, Lake Erie kind of open up. I'll do a little turn over Lake Erie so you can kind of see it stretch off in the distance. It's kind of cool. And it's going to be just a really quick short flight back to uh, back to Detroit. So let's hop up in the air and we'll start heading home. Crow Seal traffic, Mooney 16 Delta Romeo departing runway 22 westbound Crow Seal. Okay, engine instruments are good, airspeed's alive. Coming up on 64, and off we go. Here's up. 90 flaps up. No one's out here on a sailboat. Little flight over here to Lake Erie, see the ocean going freighter. Well, it's the Great Lakes freighter. There you go, a couple little islands out that way, a little point out there, and off in that direction. The main body of Lake Erie. Livingston County traffic down at 267 Delta Charlie. Final well, and back towards land we go, because I don't want to be out over, <laughs> I don't want to be out over the Great Lakes. London Air Force 7930, Fox 3 miles to the east, entering, planning to enter left downwind, runway 27, London Air Force. So, so it's going to be a short flight. It's actually, it's annoyingly long because we have to go around uh, Detroit Metro's airspace because it's like just about on a straight line. If you go straight line from uh, Willow Run to Grow Seal, you pretty much go right over the top of Detroit Metro. So we got to circumnavigate the, uh, that whole deal. But speaking of short flights, um, when I flew the Saab, we used to do a handful of these really short flights. And when you fly turbine airplane, there are a lot of checklist items to do, and it's a handful. And trying to just get all the checklist items done on a short flight is shockingly difficult. You'd be very surprised at how uh, how tough that can be. I remember one of my first, I don't want to say it's my IOE, we did Houston to College Station, and that's like a 50, 50 nautical miles or something like that, which you know, seems pretty far. But at 250 knots, you know, 50 nautical miles, that's one fifth of an hour. And you think one fifth of an hour, that's 12 minutes. So it's a 12 minute flight. And there's just a lot of checklists, a lot of things to get done in 12 minutes. And things go by really fast when you're going 250 knots. Anyway, so thankfully, you know, you, things slow down. You know, after you get good at stuff, uh, they always say, you know, for quarterbacks, you know, the game slows down. The game slowed down for them. 
simply happens anytime you get good at anything, it slows down, which is good because when I got to uh, flying out of Dulles, we used to do these essential air routes, and they would be two-stop round trips. Um, so instead of like you know normally you'd go from your hub airport out to some city, drop off passengers, pick up new ones, go back to the hub. Well, these essential air routes, you know, there weren't many uh, people flying. So to make things a little more economical, you do uh, you know a three a three leg round trip. So you go from for one of the ones we did was Dulles to Morgantown, West Virginia, to Clarksburg, West Virginia, back to Dulles, or it might be the reverse route. And between Clarksburg and Morgantown, I can't remember how far they are, it's less than 20 miles. It is insanely fast. I mean, you basically, I think the, I think with the, the flight plan called for a flight of something like six minutes or something like that. It's, it's, it's crazy. And I'll never forget one of them flying uh, first thing in the morning. We're taking off out of Clarksburg, heading to Morgantown for one of these flights. And we hit a duck in the windshield. And so, so everyone's kind of aware of how these things work on takeoff when you're flying a, an airplane like that. There's a bunch of speed callouts, and different things happen depending on the uh, the speed you call out. So, for example, 80 knots is always a call out. Basically, anything happens before 80 knots, it's an abort. Um, it's a pretty simple abort. You don't, you know, if you're Obviously, an engine failure, or, you know, something hits you, or you hear a pop, uh, you don't feel like the engines are running right, whatever. Below 80 knots, it's an abort. Then, above 80 knots, between 80 and V1, it's generally, it's it's discretion, but the general rule is, unless something's on fire, you're taking it into the air, because you're getting to the point where the airplane has so much energy that, statistically, it's more dangerous to try and stop it than it is to uh, to just keep going. And then you hit V1, and then basically above V1, it's you're going into the air no matter what. So here we are on takeoff. Um, I believe it was the FO was the leg. So I was sitting left seat, we're going, and we get to, it was between 80 and V1, but we're getting pretty close to V1, and a duck comes flying across the runway and hits the windshield on the FO side, startled the hell out of the FO, and he's like, he's like, looks at me, he's like, what are we doing? I'm like, oh, we're going into the air, we're at V1. So we take it off, take off into the air, and and I was like, as soon as I, I, I told him, I was like, just fly this like it's a, you know, uh, minimums takeoff, and just climb it out on instruments, we'll get to a safe flight, and I'll take, with safe altitude, and I'll take over, because basically, his entire view is now being, well, most of his entire view is blocked by a giant uh, duck splatter, and I may have a picture of it somewhere, hopefully I'll put it up there, but it looked like, it, it looked just like a big bug splat, I mean, if you ever see those big bug splats, they have, you know, these teardrop shapes to them, but they're, you know, they're pretty small. This one was just like the you know, size of a football or so, and but it had that same teardrop bug splat shape. But now it gets to the point of what are you going to do about it? Um, because we don't know if we you know, crack the window, if we have a pressurization problem. And we get, in the, F, we get in the air, I, you know, my controls, I take over flying the airplane, and the FO is like, what do you want to do? And I'm like, well, we're, by now, we're 15 miles from Morgantown. The airport we just took off from us is five miles behind us, and we got to have to do a whole pattern. I'm like, we'll probably be able to land, <laughs> you know, because it's pretty, pretty much going to be a straight end to Morgantown. It's like, we'll be able to land in Morgantown unless time's going to take us to fly back around. So we're pressing on, going to Morgantown, and we'll write it up and deal Lincoln with it there. County, so. Wayma, That's one of those things, short flights, man. Some makes you do some weird things sometimes. You know, take off in the air, big hit by a bird, a big ass bird at that, and normally, you know, that would be an air return. It's like, well, Albert Hill, Travis. air return Albert take more time than just proceeding on to the, uh, the next destination, so, Passing through on to the next destination, we were inbound, full stop. Oh, the shortest flight I've ever done in the SOP is the, um, we had an airplane 
in Manassas, Virginia that needed to be repositioned to Dulles and I will show a picture uh, from a sectional chart uh, what that looks like. Basically you take off a Manassas and you're already on final at Dulles and I think the total total something like nine miles or something like that. Now you want to talk about all assholes and the elbows and assholes in the cockpit trying to get everything done in order to make that leg happen. Oh boy. November 6, Delta Romeo, traffic uh, one mile off the departure end, making right traffic is a Cessna. Hi, looking for the traffic, 6 Delta Romeo. I am in sight, 6 Delta Romeo. Six Delta Romeo, Roger. And November 6, Delta Romeo, you are going to be number three to the field uh, following that traffic. All right, 6 Delta Romeo, slow up. And there was 6 Delta Romeo, don't slow it up too much. I have additional traffic, so Archer uh, joining a five mile final. You're going to be inside of them as of now. All right, 6 Delta Romeo. Or 19 Delta, your number two following an Archer. The Archer's uh, left approach and downwind to left base now. They are full stop. Number two for look at that traffic, 19 Delta. November 6 Delta Romeo, do you still have that traffic in sight in the right approach, or correction, uh, right midfield downwind? Affirmative, still in sight, moving 16 Delta Romeo. 6 Delta Romeo, Roger, you can turn base to follow traffic, runway 2 through right, 13105, clear to land. All right, clear to land number two behind the Cessna, moving 16 Delta Romeo. Foxtrot, Wheeler and Tower, Roger, hold for traffic and release. Hold for traffic and release, your Charlie Fox. Tower 19 Delta, after the second touch and go, we're going to depart to Grove Ski over the Delta Flight Metro, because we're going to need that one. Never 19 Delta, Roger, on request. Extending downwind one mile, 19 Delta. One six Delta, Romeo, ground you up. Uh, Permanent 6 Delta Romeo. 1 6 Delta Romeo, Bravo straight into the south ramp and then uh, Delta Hotel Echo 2 to the east ramp. Okay, Bravo, Delta Hotel Echo 2 east ramp, Mooney 1 6 Delta Romeo. And we got a DC 9 doing uh, taxiway practice on the hotel right now. Yeah, I got him inside 6 Delta Romeo. I'd say at about 5,000. Well, that's it. Possible. Short flights, uh, all about uh, short flights. The next thing I got going on is I need to go up to Alpina. Visit my mother. Right on golf, we'll give you a call. Fix a boo boo that I did last year. So next weekend plan is head up to Alpina, get that fixed, see my mom, and come back down. So we'll probably bring you along for that trip. But that's it for today. Catch you guys next time.